let's go to the movies. Every weekday afternoon around this time, we love to talk about films, whether on the big or the small screen. Sometimes we talk about cinematic television. Yesterday, we were having a little look at Big Little Lies Series 2, and there's more big films being released over the next week or so. Next week, Toy Story 4. But also, it's great to snuggle down on a film you could watch on DVD, Blu-ray, download or streaming. Today, we're talking Follow Me. Or if you want its true title, hashtag follow me. <laughs> and uh, it's a, the best way to describe this is it's a found footage horror movie with a YouTube twist. And I am delighted to say that the star of the film, Cara Kingswood Hughes, from Leon C, is with me live in the studio. Great to see you, Cara. Great to see you too. Thanks for having me. And it's nice to know you're all well and safe and yes, lovely to be here. I am. I'm uh, here. Good. <laughs> and the director of the film, Sam Hardy, is also with us. Afternoon, Sam. Afternoon, Tony. Thanks for having us. It's great to see you both today. Great and you. and also to talk about a film which um, we haven't seen for a while. Found footage films first became very big business thanks to the the Blair Witch Project, which I didn't, I was doing a bit of research yesterday. I can't believe that was 99. I wasn't know. It? Like so 20 years 20 already. 20 years ago. That's made a fortune. Yeah, yeah. And of course, yeah. when that film was made, we didn't live in an internet age at that point. There were yeah. no social media around. There was no real uh, YouTube as such. We didn't know what a vlogger was. And interestingly enough, Cara, tell us first of all a little bit about your character because she is a vlogger and she's doing really well. What, two million followers? Yeah, two million subscribers. She's doing really, really well. Um, but obviously with fame comes the not so good things. So um, she gets a stalker and that's how the movie starts, really. Right. Well, let's yeah. hear a little taster first of all. Here it comes. I'm coming out to LA today with my friends Jessica and Lisa. Like, subscribe, and follow me. Bye bye, London. Bye. Boy, bang, peace. Look at the view. Oh so my gosh, look at that. That is insane. I think that's Bay downtown Temple. LA down there. I'm sure I'll tell Lisa if I tell you something. You have been winding me up all day. Yes. 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 So, I've been meaning to ask you. It's full of filming. Sophie is a YouTuber. Yep. Oh, all right. I filmed everything. Okay, guys, so here we are on Venice Beach. Run, stop! Oh, whoa, 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 Having a great time in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> but like all good horror films, uh, it leads us to some very dark places indeed. Um, Sam, tell us a little bit about, and we want to keep this as spoiler free as we can, of course, but tell us a little bit about the thinking behind the film when you first set out to make it. Okay, so, you know, I've been fortunate enough to do a bit of traveling. Everyone's been fortunate, I suppose, but nowadays you see everyone on social media, they're all tagging where they are, they're putting locations, doing selfies. They're doing it with strangers and always posting and uh, it just came to me then I was like we stayed in one hotel and I was like this would be a great place for a horror film and then naturally the scripts are getting born in my head mm. and I was thinking this is actually a legit problem and I started doing research and it's happened to a, a few famous people in the past so it's a very real situation. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. of course w when, when we first meet, I was going to say Cara, but it's, it's just Sophie in this Sophie, film. Sophie, yes. Interestingly enough, that's not the first time you've played a Sophie. In fact, three yeah. of your films, you've been a Sophie, I haven't have. you? I have. Well, you've done your research, <laughs> haven't you? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. I mean, my mum's just back there watching. She should have called me Sophie. Hi, mum. <laughs> I obviously see the name Sophie. Yes, three yes. times I've been Sophie in, in all three big films I've done, actually. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm still recovering from Eight Limbs. Oh, I've yeah. got to be honest, <laughs> which was um, a, sh a short film you made back in, what, 2009? Yeah, I was in my late teens when I yeah. did that. It was the first lead role in a film I ever got. Yeah. yeah. But the, the Sophie in this film, uh, she is a vlogger, as we've mentioned. And when we first meet her, she's straight to camera. You're one of the first things that we see in the film. Yes. And you're, you're off to LA. You're very excited. You're yeah. taking two of your good friends with you. Yeah. 
and that's where it all, all begins. Did you do any research with vloggers or anything before you started on this trial? I actually have a background in presenting, um, which helped me a lot in the casting process. Because um, yeah. for, for some of the casting, I had to do a lot of improvisation, on the spot, vlogging type things. And I think that's where I had a, quite an advantage over the hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of other was, girls yeah, that applied. Um, yeah. Yeah. That really? Was, yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, so I think I was lucky in the way that I kind of had did have some of that sort of experience anyway. Um, so yeah, my background let me do that. I also kind of do my own little vlogs on my Instagram, and and so it wasn't it wasn't foreign to me at all. It's something that I was actually quite used to doing. Yeah, yeah. I felt a bit bad actually looking at your Instagram because I thought I was a bit stalky, and I thought. <laughs> <laughs> And Whether you know, I, I shouldn't be doing that a lot now. I got a flat tyre yesterday. Yeah, no way. That's yeah. so crazy. You must just explain that does happen in the film. Yeah. yeah. And, a, and a very dodgy <laughs> bloke in a Mustang comes That's to the rescue. Right. Never stop for a bloke in a Mustang. No, it's just a cowboy hat, yeah. I mean, there is something chilling about, you know, anything that's to do with going to places which on the face of it seem wonderful like you think of Los Angeles and you think of this amazing place it's full of stars and it's got expensive shops and it's yeah. everything's glitzy there's a certain dirty overview of of, of Los Angeles as well it's, yeah. it's not as pretty as you might think now during the making of this film and we'll talk more about this later but yeah you do manage to capture for instance Venice Beach yeah being quite dirty it, was that your intention yeah, well yeah i was trying to show it as natural as possible because when i first went to la obviously it was amazing and every location we sort of ideally went to in the film was my experience at the time and obviously they're all iconic locations and then i just let you know we let Cara go with the camera and just like do some shooting and do the natural vlog improvisation and make it look exactly how it is we don't want to make it glitz and glam we want yeah. to show like how a vlog looks and if you look at most people's vlogs especially the way the film is was unedited it's supposed to be for one memory card it's going to be dirty until the you know the youtubers clear it up and edit it yes so uh, yeah and you, they nailed it <laughs> and you caught it yeah absolutely yeah. well we'll talk more in just a second stay with us guys it's Kara Kingswood Hughes and Sam Hardy we are talking about follow me this afternoon <laughs> Katie Tunstall, Suddenly I See, it's BBC Essex. We love talking about films on the show. And there is a new horror film out, which is available on the usual platforms, by the way. I watched it on iTunes. You can also get it on Amazon as well. It's called Follow Me. The director is Sam Hardy. And the actress, Cara Kingswood-Hughes, who's from Leon C, stars in the film as a vlogger who's off to L.A. with her mates. We were just talking about the mates. Um, we, must say, we must give kudos to the to your to your fellow actors oh, as well. Oh, yes. Maria and Scarlett are their yes. real names. Um, yeah. They are brilliant actors, both of them. They're very now very, very close friends of mine as well. Um, so big shout out if you're listening, <laughs> both of you. Well <laughs> I mean, it's great because there is part of this film, and again, I'm not going to give anything away, where they are supposed to be a little bit annoying yes. because you play you know uh, Sophie who is the vlogger it's yeah. your it's your success that they're hopping on the back of here you're yeah. the reason why they're going to California aren't you yeah you know. I've taken them over there yeah and yeah. they're the ones that seem to do most of the whinging actually <laughs> yeah. um, and I just wanted to know you know when you were going over to uh, Los Angeles and you were filming there it's not just a case of setting up a camera is it you have to get permits for all this yeah it was uh, it's probably one of the hardest places to film in the world to be honest and luckily our producer used to Utah back there she uh, had to go through all, jump through all the hoops and it was unbelievable the amount of money it cost for a, a micro budget film to be you know yeah. to get made in LA <laughs> so did you anticipate that at first no not like this there was normally like four different unions you had to go through to get one permit sometimes as well the Hollywood sign is global icon and we, but we worked closely with film LA and they were fantastic it was like a one stop shop but still there was a lot of paperwork and admin and yeah but yeah, we got it done. <laughs> and a really expensive car it was, as well. Because yeah. you could just when, when you first, when you guys first see the car, um, <laughs> uh, when you get in the car, the one that you travel in everywhere, and and every down I'm thinking, wow, well, because I'm, I'm always thinking of the production. <laughs> yeah. Thinking, oh, how much that if that gets chipped or? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was always going on. <laughs> we had, this film was kind of cursed for a lot of parts. We had like a lot of problems. We had actors dropping out. The apartment fell through on the yeah. day of. It was a lot of like challenges but we all grouped together and we got it done and yeah. it's paid off now so yeah. we talked earlier on about you. your, your background <laughs> in, in vlogging and and on instagram and on yeah. social media that obviously helped um but 
obviously there was quite a lot of improvisation as well in this. Yeah, yeah um, well, I trained in acting. That's originally what, what I did. I trained in musical theatre, actually, and then I went into method acting. And obviously improvisation is a big part of that, along with presenting. When you're presenting, you have to be able to speak on the spot, as you know. Um, I used to do um, shopping channels back when I was younger as well. So that was talking for five hours about a product, selling a grain of sand <laughs> or something like this. So, yeah. you know, improvising is, is my thing, really. So mm. luckily that helped me out a lot um, when I was doing the improvising, the blog the vlogs and um, yeah. and with the girls as well. Yeah. When, you, when you can do bath towels, you can do anything. Exactly. Kind of and, but, but the script is, itself is amazing. I mean, we improvised around the script. The script yeah. is written by Sam. Yeah. Um, so, so the script was a great base for us to work with. And then from there, we did little bits of improvisation. Yeah, yeah. each time. So did yeah. you have a, a kind of storyboard as such? Yeah. So you knew where you were going? Obviously, because obviously with the expense of where you had to film, <laughs> you, I suppose you had to be very similar. Yeah, we had the script and we had storyboard shot list. We had it all, all done professionally the way it was supposed to be but like Cara just said there was moments where we'd say right just improvise here and they would just go off and do their thing and then we're like well we're using that scene that's mm. it it's done and uh, there was a lot of moments Cara did that was great and obviously Scarlett and Maria and then the American guys Tyler and Connor they they did very well as well so one for the movie Anorax as well there's a, there's a great portfolio horror film I really like called VHS and the, I think the one of the locations you used uh, the the apartment with, with the swimming pool and everything that was in VHS. Wasn't was it? Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. They are. There's a little bit of trivia ah, for thank you. Because yeah. uh, I thought, in my geeky yeah. way, I thought I recognise that. And I were there, wasn't it? That's great. Because um, that's a great. That's a that's a great. Well, it's a villa, isn't it? Was it? Yes. Yeah. It, well, it's an apartment there. The lady owned it. It's a stunning location. Yeah. Um, but the other iconic place we shot was the Four Aces Motel. And uh, obviously, if you just IMDb that place, it's had everybody there. Yeah. Like, you, Cara knows all the you know pop yeah, stars, the pop stars and, yeah. and the music videos. There. Oh, really? Yeah. I, lo- yeah. I love the uh, the bedspread um, <laughs> as well. There's nothing like an American <laughs> motel bedspread. You can't get that shade of orange in this country, can you? <laughs> no. no. Not anymore. You'd have to spe- you know, vintage. The deco or yeah. vintage, yeah. yeah. Perfect. But they've, they've, they haven't changed, have they? Direct dial telephones. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, the, 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 the Gideon Bible in the drawer, but but also exactly. the, 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 the drapes and everything, as the Americans call them. It's you know, the very retro, yeah. 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 It's great. Very, stuff. Like vintage, like Cara said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll talk more in a second or two. Stay with us. Cara and Sam, my special guests this afternoon. Let's get an update on the roads next. Travel news. Love you like me. Taylor Swift, Brendan Yuri together, and that's me, BBC Essex. We are talking about Follow Me, which is a brand new horror film which you can see um, on iTunes, on Amazon right now. It stars Cara Kingswood Hughes, who's from Leon C, and the director is Sam Hardy. Um, and exciting news, Cara, which we I think we can we can mention on the yeah, radio now. Um, <laughs> your next project is is a Bollywood film. Yeah. So this kind of landed, um, came to me after I finished Follow Me. And I, I yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy they love me out there. Um, a couple of things have come since the film that I did, um, where I play the supporting actress um, called Mr. Pamwala, I can say that. Um, and yeah, so maybe that's, that's what's next for me. Yeah, because you've been in a few horrors now, haven't you? And yes. it's probably good to get away from, you yeah. know, from these horrific exactly. moments. I mean, know. I didn't actually do all the singing and dancing. Thing, that I, my character was actually quite serious, um, but it wasn't horror. So. It wasn't horror, so we're moving. <laughs> I mean, your, your poor old mum must be in therapy watching this stuff sometimes. <laughs> oh, <bless her. laughs> I know. <laughs> and what about you, Sam? What's next for you? Uh, so obviously the idea is to make Follow Me the sequel in a franchise, yeah. um, so we're in talks about that, but then my next film I'm planning is called Incipient. And that's going to be a, a big one out in LA as well. So um, yeah, very excited about that. I can't say too much more. So you made you made a few friends out there then now. Yeah, well, we all did, I yeah. think. Um, but yeah, the Americans have been fantastic to us. And uh, producer Andrew Diamond, he set up uh, meetings with Multicom. We got the distribution, and they've just been amazing. So you know, every everyone leads to someone else. It's just been unreal experience. It's so. such an exciting time now. There was a time, wasn't there, when if you didn't get some kind of theatrical screening, uh, yeah. your your film or your your show, whatever it might be, wouldn't get an audience because there was nowhere to go. Sure. Now we have all these streaming services. Mm-hmm. So lucky. There's so much, there is a real thirst for good content now yeah. and, and horror is a big genre, isn't it? It's it, probably one of the biggest, I think. Yeah. This, uh, to be honest, it's probably one of the easiest to make it to a certain extent. Obviously, you can go from low budget all the way to high. But I think it's uh, the way we did this one as well is definitely kind of unique as well, maybe to some extent. Obviously, fan footage, but 
I don't think a YouTube vlog has been done before. And the great sure. thing is, is with all the streaming yeah. and the social media, this film is so apt to what's happening now. Yes. Um, and the dangers, and I think it's really important. I mean, obviously, is this an 18, this film, or 15? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yeah, what it's sure American. What it's <laughs> it's un- I, I saw it on <laughs> iTunes, and it was unrated. Unrated. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's yeah. up to you. I would, I would, I'd say 15. Yeah, yeah. 15. Um, I think it's important yeah. that everyone 15 and over. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so, yeah. It's, who, a, who, it's a teen, it's a te- it's a teen, it's a teen yeah. horror, too. Isn't exactly. It? So, yeah. I think it's important that young people these days realise the dangers of social media because I don't yeah. think many people do, no. including myself. I mean, I've I've tagged myself in in places mm. while I've been there, and that's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. thousands of people then know where you are. So, I think this film does give that reality and and make people realise the dangers of social media, which is important. Yeah, and I think Definitely. it's also um, worth mentioning that you know if you go on holiday and you meet a couple of blokes, <laughs> you know. I'd, I'd give it a bit of time before you go waltzing <laughs> yeah. off with them in a car somewhere. Yeah. Because we don't know who they are. I didn't know. I thought they were shifty, those guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I won't tell you what happens, but, yeah, you know, they, right. they were a bit shifty. I thought. But yeah. then again, yeah. you see, the trouble is I've got I've got a little girl. So yeah. I, all the time I'm thinking, oh, they're all right. Yeah. They should be wearing a coat now. It's getting a bit chilly out there. You know, is that so- <laughs> well, I'm watching it like keen. a dad. Yeah. Sophie wasn't keen, was she? But no. she had peer pressure from the other two. Exactly. And boom. Yeah. yeah. It's all there, you see. When we start to dig a bit deeper, it all happens. I'm, I'm really concerned I don't get into spoiler territory. Yeah. Uh, so Follow Me is available right now. We're going we're gonna to do our own certificate. It's our own version of the BBFC, yeah. and we're going to say it's a 15, <laughs> yeah. uh, which I think is fair, is fair enough. Yeah, there are I some think. shocking moments in it. Yeah, um, sure. But also, it's, it's, a, it's a, a travel log too. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, uh, so is. if you've ever been to, to Los Angeles and you're wondering what it's like, say at Venice Beach, yeah. Uh, or on the, the Walk of Fame exactly. with all the stars and everything. It's a good look at what it's really like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is, is kind of and interesting. And there's some comedy thrown in as there well. Yeah, yeah, there is. There are some moments, aren't there? <laughs> so if you're not too keen on the horror part, but you like a bit of comedy, yeah. Then, yeah. then it's for you too. And the horror is not sustained. It, it builds. Instant as well. Yeah, it's instant and it happens. But yeah. I think the horror lies in the fact that you know something is going to happen. Yeah. And the more you get into the characters, the more you're going to get worried. And that's the whole point, isn't it? That, yeah. You know, you've got to, yeah. got to invest. When you've invested, you know, an hour and a quarter with people, exactly. you know <laughs> something bad's going to happen. I know. Oh, no. But that, that was the thing a lot of people were saying, like, when's it going to happen? But it was like anything in life. If you're driving down the road, you don't know when a car's going to hit you. It just happens. Yes. And that's yeah. how we wanted to play, play this film off. And Cara was phenomenal at the end as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. It's been so good meeting both of you today. Thank Congratulations you so on the film. Nice and if you. people want to see it right now, it is available and um, on all the usual platforms and everything. Come back and see us again with your next film. Thank you. Come back and see us again with whatever you're up yeah. to because yeah. you're a local girl and we yeah. love to support our, our local actors as well. So Thank it's good to you. see you today. Thanks, Thanks so much you. for your time. Cara Kingswood Hughes and Sam Hardy, Follow Me is out now. It's BBC Essex. We're concentrating on Toy Story 4 next week, by the way. We'll be getting your...